Hi, this is Shane, and welcome back to another episode of the Popular Fiction Legacy Challenge. And um, last week, Corin grew up. I went and I changed his hair. I think he had different hair when I when I left him. And because um, I think I gave him short hair, or he had a different hair, but he has to have long hair for most of his life and then chop it short as an adult. So, um, so yeah, so I made it a little bit longer. And the what's the big the biggest thing that I did while I was offline is that Harrison is now chief of staff. He's reached the top of his career. It was really grindy and it was really annoying, but he got there. So uh no worries, you got time. Whatever it is, you've got time. So yeah, so now we're finished with Harrison, which is a bit sad, really, because we've spent a lot of episodes with him. Um, sorry, I'm still a bit stuffed up from last week and the cold, so I may sound a little bit nasally and stuff, but yeah. Okay, so we don't have to worry about Harrison anymore. We have to concentrate on Corinne. Actually, we need to take a picture of you for the to update our thumbnail. <laughs> oh, you're sad. Why are you sad? Low social. Uh, Liberty, somebody's calling you. Someone wants you. No, nope, that's fine. All right, seriously. That's just annoying. Um, master logic, charisma, and handiness skill. Oh, my days. Okay. Let's have a look. What's... Don Lothario. Who who are you calling, Don? Not Corin. He's a teen. He's not going out clubbing with you. Let's see what skills we have. Alright, we have Charisma, level 5. Uh, logic is level 4. Handiness, we haven't done yet. Alright, do you have any... Uh, you've got 200... <sighs> 200, 2,000 satisfaction points. Let's get you some stuff to help you. Um, 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 what's the one I'm looking for? Not incredibly friendly. Incredibly friendly might help, seeing that he's unflirty. Yes, I think incredibly friendly would help him. Because we have to also do the soulmate aspiration. Alright, you need to go downstairs and talk to somebody. What time is it? It's 11. I don't know if anybody will want to chat to you on... Uh... Evie. Can you text her? Feebly ask on a date. Oh my word. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, chat. Hopefully you'll be able to chat to her. Uh, no, it's 11.30. So she's not interested. All right. And your dad's got the computer. We need we need to, to um expand this house a little. Because your dad's got the family computer. We need another computer. Um, where can we put another computer? Probably here in the playroom. Because there's no door there. Who's that? Oh, it's Evie. Well, come and let her in then. Invite in. I thought she was sleeping. She went. She obviously she snuck out of the house. Evie, you got a bit more. You're you're um. You're devious. So that was probably because your parents were in the room, or something. Beringo. All right. We'll chat to Evie then. Uh, get to know. Should we give her residence keys? She's flirty. So, okay, we won't ask why you've turned up. We know why you've turned up. Alright, don't get any negative hearts. Uh, um, help fix bad relation. Oh, with Harrison. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, um, talk yes, to my dad because no, you know it's some. important that my dad likes you because he's going to be around forever. He's immortal, don't you know? Uh huh. All right. Hey. Okay, why did that go down? All right. Uh -huh. Ask for advice. Carzini. Yes. Invite to stay the night. Uh, she, he's too sad. Okay, fine. Uh, friendly. To be uh, what? I don't even know what mod that's from. I know it's from something I have installed, but we're not going to do that because yet. Yeah, no, you're not going to go and cry out. Come and talk to Evie. She's turned up on your doorstep. Um, give props. Um, oh, and stargaze. Let's stargaze. Um, oh, now he's happy for her to stay the night. Friendly. I wish I could remember what, um, what mod that was from. When I remember, I'll let you guys know. I think it could be... I think it's zero, Zero's Mods um, improved, improved Relationships. I think that's what it's from. But yeah, you're a teen. That's not really happening. Alright, the two of you, you can Cloud Gaze. That should bring up your, your friendship. Okay, she just became good friends with him. That is awesome. Uh, Harrison, what are you doing? You're sleeping off the after effects of having stumpy flu. I actually, you can go and get yourself sorted. Uh, get treatment. Visit the hospital. Binar? Ah, Haha, for right. Oh, I want you two to be like best buds. Do we have anything about? Uh, no. Okay. So for the soulmate aspiration, have a boyfriend or girlfriend go on two dates. All right, we can do that because we're angling to get Evie to be our girlfriend. Because hopefully Evie's the one you're going to spend the rest of your life with because I am not hunting down lots of women. I don't do the whole romance thing in... in I was just about to say in Minecraft. That's the wrong game. <laughs> in The Sims. All right, are you sick as well now? He's in the mood, he's illuminated by stars, and he's made a good friend. Right, so go get something to eat, go to bed. Oh man, I still feel really kind of nasally and yucky. Maybe I've transferred my... Maybe I caught the stumpy flu from my Sims. Anything is possible. That would not surprise me. Right, who? Which two? Hold on. Which two um, vampires? Oh, Lilith Vittori and Antonio Harrington. Yeah, they burnt to death during the day. They just stood there. And Vladis, Vladis Strauss? He was there, but he had more sense and he left. Alright, so you're doing that. Have you done your homework? No, you need to do your homework. So do your homework, go use the toilet. Oh, your dad's back. Over-medicated. And you can sell all. Oh, Liberty's up. I should have gotten her to do that. Never mind. All right, he's very flirty. Oh, wow. Why are you very flirty? from life you're in the mood for love see this is when Evie should have been over and then we could have got her to be her girl her girlfriend no she can't be her own girlfriend get her to be Corinne's girlfriend 
Um, Ashley, what's your problem? Well, go have a bath. That's what you're doing. Good. Have you done your homework? Yes, kind of. Uh, Alright. Uh, Liberty, why are you upset? I don't know. Your tents from the genius trait will come and come and play. Alright, you have alright, you we need we probably need to put in another shower. Did you sort yourself out, young lady? Mm, I don't know. Alright, use that. It's grungy, but yeah, you had a shower. We I'm going to have to go down into the basement. I'm going to have to put your dad in the basement. And... Oh, I don't know. I don't know how to extend the house. It's a funny... It, I didn't... I wasn't thinking about that when I made these rooms. But I think we're going to have to put your dad in the basement. Uh, Evie, you go use the toilet, then you go off to school. You are using the toilet, right? You're just going up and down the stairs <coughs> right now you go off to school Liberty is there oh you've got to go to work well you go to work then oh you want to go on vacation you're not going on vacation vacations don't happen in this house and and then Harrison is going off to work soon ish um 20 minutes and then while everybody's at work and school maybe i can um redo the house oh yeah I th we're gonna have to go down into the basement i think we can make... Are you ill? I think he's ill. Send alone. Alright, well you go off to work. And then let's have a think about what we're going to do with this house. Because we need to make the kids' bedrooms bigger. Or we could go up a floor. Ooh, I could give Corin the whole top floor. Hmm. That's a thought. If I knock out this room and put stairs to upstairs and Corin knock these two rooms into one and that could be um, Ashley's room and then put Corin and his dad upstairs. Yep, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Alright, I'm going to do that and then I will join you guys when I'm finished. Okay, so I'm finished. Um, I made... Um, why would I want to call him Travis? Corin. Where did Travis come from? Corin's room. It is upstairs. He's got his desk. I'd forgotten he had a, a laptop in his room. He has an ensuite bathroom because, you know, it's a big boy. He needs his own room. His dad is next to him in a nice soothing green room. Up here is pretty much a blank canvas so they can put whatever they want, exercise machines, whatever. And then downstairs, Ashley's room is a bit, um, it's long. So there's not much I could do with it. But I put these two tables together. They look like they're two different tables. Uh, no, no one to miss work. Even though they're the same table, but it looks like it's two different things. I don't know why. The colour, I guess. But I gave her a, a double bed because, you know, because it, it, it just fitted the room better. Moved her stuff around a little bit and I put stairs to upstairs. And even though these stairs are the same, the, the, um, the banisters the exact same but they look like two different colors which is a bit random right so Corin, you go up to your room what do, oh what is wrong Corin? 
you're tired and you're grungy you're exhausted well yeah you were up all night with Evie that is true I should have given you a double bed but nah not right now are you gonna have a nap okay Evie what are you up to Evie wrong child <coughs> Ashley have you done your homework yeah. you're about to do it which is awesome Um, and your brother is sleeping. Okay, well, let's let you get on with it. When you get up, you can go have a bath. And then, um... Yeah, go have a bath. Can you use... No, no, no. Use this one. That's yours. Actually, you know what? Um, oh, you sing in the shower. That's pretty cool. The doorway. Can I actually see the doorway? Can you lock? No, it's not a doorway. It's just a archway. All right. Well, in that case, lock door for everyone except Corin. So then he's the only one allowed up in his in his room. All right, you do your thing. Do your homework, tired as you are. And then you can go to sleep. What's that you want to do? You want to sleep it off. Yeah, that's fine. You go to sleep. Liberty, you can make something for everybody to eat. You're tense. You want a vacation. You want to relax. Um, cook a gourmet meal. Prima Pasta Vera. And that is that is veg vegetarian safe. Okay, cool. And we want party size. And it's Friday. I didn't even realise it's the weekend. Well, at least in the Sims. Not IRL. It's not the weekend IRL. Um Ashley, you're fine, you're doing your homework, you're happy listening to music, having a sandwich. Ashley, when is your birthday? Um, I'd like to come over to hang out. Okay. And can we... Can we unlock the door? Unlock for specific sim. Oh, it has to be somebody in the household. Okay. Right, that's the only thing about living in, in multi-houses. Um, is that the whole rooms thing? Alright, Evie, where are you going? You are going to clean the toilet. I think you might be a keeper. Because, I mean, you're quite happy to come and clean your boyfriend's toilets. Alright, you want to sleep, but you're not. Are you locked in your room? Is that what it is? Uh, allow access to... Uh, unlock door for... Liberty. Not Liberty, Evie. Oh gosh. Alright, cool. Invite to stay the night. Evie isn't Liberty in the... Step in for your best friend. Yeah. Okay, did he... Oh, he's, now he's going to pass out. You were standing next to the bed. I don't understand. Or maybe you can't get in because... No, you got in before because you were napping, so it's not that. Oh, dear me. All right. Come down and eat pasta primavera. Grab a serving. Uh, for some reason, that's just... Right, what's going on with you? Uh, recovered. Yay! 
You're immune from the cold. Um, you're in the bath. I need you to come and sort out these plants. Uh, water all. Alright, Corin, what's... Will you come and eat your food? Do I need to reset you? Is that what it is? Ah, command center. Sim cheats, reset sim. Alright. Eat your food. Eat! Thank you. I wonder if there's a mod that lets you call certain people to a meal because I would like to be able to call Evie for a meal but not like the entire entire household I'll have to look into that alright so you're over medicated you need some fun and you're happy from the central heating alright we were looking at Ashley and when her birthday is Ashley, Ashley, at when? Oh, are we on? No. Oh, are we on long? Yeah, we're on a long span. Okay. So, yes. So, in that case, my rule is you have to nail your aspiration in order to grow up. Okay, so we're going to have to work on you, Ash. Alright, so we will work on you in between times. Right now, let me see, are you, you're confident? Draw people. Are you still eating? Corin, you are taking forever. <laughs> Quinn and Harrison, despite what, what? Okay. I don't know what, no, is it because he's a vampire? Okay, I'm not asking. Hey, Sergio. Yeah. What? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Corin, you've passed out again. What? Whatever you've got, it's just, or maybe you're just over. As it says, you are over medicated. So, yeah, maybe you just. All right, Sergio and Harrison now despise each other. Okay. All right, buddy, you come and sleep you come and sleep can you get upstairs are you coming yes I could see you right oh good grief that was a drama wait a minute Harrison's just outside picking fights with people is that what he's doing I, I, I don't know Everyone else is sleeping, apart from Harrison. Alright, Evie's gone. But she's back. All right, so you, oh, what? I'm from fighting, okay. You're back. Well, go use the toilet before you end up getting a bladder infection and then you've got that moodlet to deal with. Uh, Liberty just be, listen, boy, toilet. Typical teenager, not listening. Go do what you gotta do, buddy. Oh, good grief. I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. Alright, mop the floor. Go upstairs. Have a shower. Oh dear, that medication really got you messed up. That's the only thing I could think of. Alright. Are you not... Have you not showered? Have you showered? You have. Okay, cool. <laughs> You've come down to dance. I don't want you to dance. Oh, you need to have your, bring your fun up. Okay, well, dance then. Uh, 
Yeah, go up, go on up to sleep. You can do your homework in the morning. still here which is good Harrison is stressed because he's overwhelmed Evie's gone again all right Harrison how about you go upstairs and sleep go up to your go up to your man cave uh, sleep Liberty's awake Uh, you need to sort out these plants. No, not you. Liberty. Sell all. And then Corin, you got we gotta get you back in a good shape so we can start working on all your stuff. Because you have a lot to get through. Logic, charisma and handiness. And we gotta get you a girlfriend or a boyfriend. All right, Liberty. Oh, you're going outside to do that. And then you can... Uh, weed. Was that a trash plant you just had? Oh, I wish it wouldn't do that when it's on a hill. You just get the camera doing that really weird, stinky thing. I don't know if that's a trash plant. Are those dead plants in the back? Throw away. Throw something away. I don't know what we're throwing away. Oh, it's Saturday. I was just about to say, oh my god, he's got to go to school. But he doesn't. Um, Alright, Corin. You are... Uh... Alright, Corin, how's your... Alright, your energy is great. Come and clean up the spoiled food and get leftovers. Why are you embarrassed? Oh, because you peed yourself. And Liberty, you still weeding? Right, that's fine. Um, Ashley, we need you inspired. Oh, maybe if you cloud gaze. That'll make you inspired. Can you? No, you can't cloud gaze by yourself. And that's really annoying. Uh, is this on? It's on. Uh, I. Uh, we're gonna have to dedicate an episode to you, and we just knock out your, your stuff. I think. All right, Corin, you are. You're just embarrassed. But you eat, and then we can get you working on. You can start reading about handiness. Where is the bookcase that's behind you? Read. Do we have the handiness? Yes, we do. So you can read that and let's get a start up on your handiness skill. Um, the wood, no, the woodworking table. Does that bring up handiness skill? I can't remember. Because the woodworking table, we can put that upstairs in the corridor. I think that brings up the handiness skill. Oh, Liberty, I gave her different hair. I remembered now. I did give her a different hairstyle. Alright, Liberty, you stop talking to your husband. And <laughs> go use the bathroom. Ah, uh, trait lots. Suddenly occurred to me. Do we have one that helps you build your handiness skill? Uh, child's play. Exercise. We don't want that anymore. Um, chef's kitchen. No. Convivial. 
curse, no. Gnomes. Home studio. Painting, writing, woodworking, no. Homey. Okay, homey could work. Why did I, oh, we need a wood. Let's check out the woodworking table. Um, wood in knowledge, I think that's what I want. No. Um, where's skills and activity? Creative, no. Knowledge. That is flower arranging table. Yes, woodworking table does bring up your handiness skill. Alright, let's put this up here then. Seeing that we don't actually have a man shed. And so that's what you're going to use. Um from witness in public to phrase displays of affection. It's well then again is your parents. <laughs> When you're a teenager, you don't need to know that your parents kiss, or hold hands, or do anything that is remotely yucky. Alright, let's get you to get your homework out of the way, although are you are a student. You are an A student. Alright, come and craft something. A horse. Yeah, we're going to get you doing this all the time. Until we get your handiness skill up. And we're supposed to take a pit. Oh, but the thing is, you've been looking depressed all... <sighs> you've been looking depressed the entire time. Alright, Corin, we need you. Corin, look at me. Um... Really? And you're going to do your extra credit homework. We need to get a picture of you. Doing something vaguely divergent-ish. What are you doing? Where are you going? Uh, I don't know. I will have to come back in and get him in a good mood so I can take his picture because he's always in a bad mood. Oh, are you ill again? But you just... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel and I will see you guys in the next episode. So, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.